In mathematics, we come to know and use several theorems, and most of them are stated in a conditional or biconditional statement. Conditional statements implies the cause and effect relationship, which are tremendously useful in geometry. Mathematicians and scientists like conditional statement because of the relationship of the two events. They know that if the first event is happening, then the second event will follow. Knowing about the conditional statements enables the mathematicians and scientists to make predictions about the future. Just stick around, for in this video, we will be discussing conditional statement and how are we going to transform simple into a conditional statement. If you are new to this channel, can you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell? And I promise that I will journey with you in learning math lessons and concepts in an easy way. Conditional statement, the if-then form. This is the hypothesis versus conclusion. These are our objectives. After watching this video, you will be able to determine the relationship between the hypothesis and conclusion of an if-then statement and transform a statement into an equivalent if-then statement. Conditional statements are made up of two clauses or statements joined based on a condition. It also implies cause and effect relationship. It also express relationship between two events. One of the example is the if-then statement. In the if-then statement, there are two parts. First is the hypothesis. The hypothesis is the clause or statement that follows after if, represented by P. Conclusion is the clause or statement that follows after then, represented by Q. So take note, P represents the hypothesis, Q represents the conclusion. If you put this one into symbol, this is if hypothesis, then conclusion. So if P, then Q. Let's have an example. Identify the hypothesis and conclusion of the following given statements. Suppose we have the statement, if a number is even, then the number is divisible by 2. The hypothesis follows after if, so a number is even is our hypothesis. The conclusion follows after then, so the number is divisible by 2 is our conclusion. Sample number 2. If you drink soda, then you are happy. For hypothesis, you drink soda. The conclusion after then is you are happy. So these are the hypothesis and conclusion of the two given problem. How are we going to rewrite a simple statement into a conditional statement? So there is a hint. First, you're going to determine the cause and this will be the hypothesis and the effect will be the conclusion. If it is a simple statement or sentence, place the subject to the hypothesis while the predicate to the conclusion. And let us observe correct grammar to insert terms if necessary. Let's consider this example. Suppose you are asked to underline the hypothesis and encircle the conclusion and after which you are going to rewrite the statement into a conditional statement. First statement, two angles are supplementary if they are a linear pair. So commonly, the hypothesis follows after if so, our hypothesis is they are a linear pair. Two angles are supplementary would be representing the conclusion. So, our conditional statement, if they are a linear pair, then the two angles are supplementary. Or it can be stated in another way, which is if two angles are linear pair, then they are supplementary. Example number two, all birds have feathers. This is just a simple statement. Second tip, the subject will be regarded as the hypothesis, so therefore our hypothesis is the bird. And the predicate have feathers would stand for the conclusion. So in our conditional statement, we need to insert term to make our sentence be grammatically correct. So if the animal, this is our hypothesis, if the animal is a bird, then it has feathers. So this would be our uh, conditional statement from this simple 
sentence or statement. Let's have another example. Right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. Our subject is right angle. This will be our hypothesis. Our predicate measures exactly 90 degrees would be representing the conclusion. So our conditional statement, we need to insert terms to make our sentence grammatically correct. This can be stated into if the angle is right angle, then it measures 90 degrees. Example number four, visitors in the hall came from Davao City. Visitors in the hall is our hypothesis. Came from Davao City is our predicate. And this would be our hypothesis and this could be our conclusion. Our conditional statement would be, if you are a visitor in the hall, then you came from Davao City. Or, if he is a visitor in the hall, then he came from Davao City. Example number five, you will sleep when you feel tired. So this is a cause and effect a statement. Our cause is you feel tired, the effect you will sleep. So this would be our hypothesis and this will be our conclusion. Therefore, our conditional statement would be, if you feel tired, then you will sleep. Thank you for finishing this video. If you learned something new today, kindly smash that like button. And in the comment section, kindly send me your thoughts about this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video so that I will be able to continue to journey with you in learning math lessons in an easy way. See you in our next video. Thank you for watching.